The project is called Art on the Riverwalk Tour. The city of Milford's branding is Rivertown, Art Town, Hometown. On the Rivertown side part of it, we chose the Augusta, who was built here in 1927. She's a beautiful 55-foot uh, wooden yacht that then left Milford and um, was soon dis was discovered, abandoned, and derelict in 2010 by the Laughlins, and they restored her. On the art town side, we wanted a public art project. We also wanted, though, to work with local high school students. Art programs are being cut by schools, and we felt that this would be a way for professional artists to mentor some of the local high school students and give them a skill set that they could use going forward in life. The art project is going to be 18 boats. Each one is four foot long. The company that we uh, ordered a ship from are called Cow Painters, and they're in Chicago. And they're very, very good, very, very professional. So an all-woman owned company. We gave them the drawings, and they made the form from our drawings. It wasn't something off the shelf, so this was all custom made for us. They'll be located in downtown. Six of them are already located in downtown Milford. The other 12 will be along the river walk itself. Our philosophy in, the, in all of the projects we do is we want to work with a lot of different entities in, in Milford. So for example, on this project, we worked with the Mispillion Art League. Uh, that's where many of the artists came from. We worked with the Parks and Rec Department. We worked with the Milford High School. And then we worked with the Laughlins, who own the Vineyard Shipyard, who own Augusta. We've had people from New Jersey and Philadelphia come into town to maybe get a coffee at one of our local coffee shops or go into our art um, uh, galleries and then they see the, uh, the forms themselves, the artworks themselves and they're, they're very impressed and they bring friends back and that's, that's good.